In this video, we are going to solve problem 4.53 of fundamentals of electric circuits, 4th edition by Alexander and Sadiq. We are asked to find out the not on equivalent circuit at terminal A and B. So let's do it. We have to find Rn or input resistance at this terminal A and B. In order to do that, only dependent sources will be taken into account and the independent voltage source and current source will not be considered here. If there is an independent voltage source, it will be shorted out. Like in this case, the 18 volt independent voltage source is shorted. Now, there are two ways to approach. One is adding a 1 ampere current source at terminal AB as they have asked us to find out the Norton equivalent at terminal AV or we can add 1 volt voltage source at terminal AV. You can do it any way you want but in this case I have chosen to do it with a 1 ampere current source. We can see the voltage of this 3 ohm resistance is labeled as V0 so in this note the voltage is V0. Let's assume in this node the voltage is V1. Now I am going to apply nodal analysis because it will be a convenient choice as there is a 0.25 V0 voltage control current source in this upper loop. Apply KCL this in this node. Let's assume all the currents are going out because it's an easy calculation and there is less chance to make a mistake. This current is V0 by 6, this is V0 by 3, this is V0 minus V1 by 2. And this current is actually going in to this node. That's why we have to write it as minus 0 0.25 V0. We'll find this equation after doing some calculate, calculation here. Let's again apply KCL to this node and assume all the currents are going out. So V1 minus V0 by 2, 0.25 V0. This current is actually going in, that's why we have to make it as minus 1. Now we have found two equations, solve it and we will find V0 equal to V1 equal 3. As V1 is the voltage across this line and the current here is 1 ampere, the input resistance or Rn will be 3 ohm. Now we have to find out In. So this is basically the given circuit. We just have to short this AV terminal. We label it as In current. Have to find it just like before I have applied nodal analysis here so in this point again I assumed all the currents are going out so V0 minus 18 volt divided by 6 is this current this current is V0 by 3 this current is V0 minus 0 by 2 and this is minus 0 0.25 V0 so we find V0 equal Volt. Now, in this note, let's take the directions of the other current. This is I n, this is going out, this is going out, and uh, take it that, uh, and let's take it, it is going out as well. Now we know the value of V0, which is 4 volt. Let's put this value into this equation, and we will get I n equal 1 ampere. There are many ways to solve this problem actually. If we know source transformation, we can perform the source transformation in this place and make it as a dependent voltage source. So the whole loop will be gone and it will be a lot easier. But if you are a beginner, I think that's how you should do it. Thanks for watching.